The singer. I'm Joey Casey. I play guitar. My name is Mark Draven, and I play guitar. I'm Nick Moore. I play bass. I'm Nadia Scarless, and I play drums. This is going to be our first Q and A video for you guys. Thank you all so much for the questions over the last month through Facebook and Twitter. And uh, let's just start off right now. So, question number one that we're going to cover is how did the band start? So, Watchers Eye began through a a um, school of rock type class called Metal Shop. It's it's just you know the deal where they get a bunch of kids together and they put them in bands and they all learn cover songs and they go play them. But uh, it was this one was taught by professionals who have been in the industry for many many years. So um, the, started off the two of you guys, right? Actually. Joey, were you, you weren't even in it. No, I wasn't in the original Watch It. I joined like a couple months after that program ended when you guys decided to keep going. That wasn't Watch's Eye, though. Yeah, I don't know. You guys I mean, like the OG like members. The original, <laughs> the original Watch's Eye, like original, original. I watch. played bass. Yeah, he yeah. played bass originally. But like, Watch's Eye was originally in the class. It was me. Ashton Peterson, Addison Wong, Alice Coffey, Jack Berg, Alex Coffey. Jack Berg, and Justin Yantis. No, Jack Berg wasn't in it. Oh, he wasn't in it? Yeah, oh. Justin was. But yeah, that was it. And uh, after that ended, me, Ashton, and I, and uh, a couple of the other guys tried to keep it keep it going, add to, and then it just we went through some lineup changes, and we eventually got what you have here now today. So... I brought Mark into the band. I can take full credit for that. Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. Yes, I did. Okay, it was Cthulhu. We, we started yeah. another band. Like, I was in, while I was in Watch As I playing bass, we, me, Nick, and Mark had another band called Cthulhu, and I asked Mark to join, and he replaced Addison Wong at that time. And then Nick didn't join till way later, until we d I, I decided I wanted to start playing guitar, and then we got Nick on bass. Because yeah. we were in another that, that band. That stuff doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. We were in another band. There, there's of... so many like bands and things. So, um... And then there's Nate. And then I just invited myself in. Oh, yeah. Nate. Totally. Nate happened. We adopted him, you know? He's 21. <laughs> he was 21 at the time. So, um, and he played drums. Yeah. <laughs> I played drums. <laughs> All right, so that pretty much covers the first one. Uh, question number two: What does the band name mean? So, Watcher's Eye was a name that we put a lot of thought into, and um, pretty much the name means it's essentially truth. Like looking through all the lies that society and people try to push onto you, and like that's that's the whole idea we want to promote with the band is just like being true to yourself and like seeing through. Through the, the lies, that, yeah, the illusions that, that uh, the world has mm. to veil your eyes with. The lies people try to tell you, saying whether you're ugly, fat, not skinny enough, or not pretty enough, you know. Just seeing through everybody's bullshit. Can we give the analogy of great... It's kind of like, um... The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby, the eyes of T.J. Eckelberg. It's just kind of like this third party watching the world and like just observing and seeing it for what it really is because like when you're stuck in the middle of everything you're you can be very confused you can be very conflicted with yourself because of you know these things people have been telling you but like a third party looking in can see things for what they really are and that's what watch design means yeah and then we write songs about it and bitch about it <laughs> <laughs> so uh oh, we've had a lot of songs like that right yeah like all the empty faces or? all the empty faces is about that we are one is about that Just, yeah it's it's a very important topic pertaining to the band so uh question number three uh things that we like to do in <laughs> our, our free time um i enjoy reading and playing pokemon and kill you man pokemon represent <laughs> and um just writing. I enjoy reading and writing a lot. Um, I like old movies. 
just stuff like that. This is what I do in my free time. I, I don't really do anything else but play guitar and write music. I, I occasionally play video games, like Grand Theft Auto every now and then, and maybe some Final Fantasy, but I can never really stick with it for that long. I kind of just play music and hang out with my friends. We like to party a little yeah, bit. We, we like to party. We do a little bit of that. We have fun. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Oh, yeah. Too much. Family fun. friendly fun. Yeah. A little bit too much. You know, non family friendly fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mainly just play a lot of video games and I play lots of guitar. Like, I'm always writing like either lyrics or just other guitar parts, you know, for the band. And or I'm just hanging out with friends and stuff like that. So, pretty much. Well, uh, what I like to do in my free time is I like to work, and uh, <laughs> I like to play Skyrim. Clean dishes. Yeah, you know, yeah. Pro professional uh, dish massager. So, uh, yeah. Um, I like to uh, play guitar as well and play drums. Um, I like to work on, uh, you know, building up my characters in Skyrim, and I like to build my deck for Magic the Gathering, uh, which I have recently gotten into. Um, yeah, and I like to make uh, music on GarageBand, you know, just uh, hanging out. Guitar myself. hero, man. Yeah. <laughs> We're all pretty cool guys, <laughs> as you can clearly see. Oh, and I also like to play Modern Warfare 3. Uh, uh, what do you like to do, Nick? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just... I, ha I don't know why, like... I, I just spend a lot of time on the internet, like, it's kind of sad, like, <laughs> that, that's why I was kind of reluctant to start sharing my, you know, free time activities, because, like, honestly, if I'm not, like, playing bass in the band, or partying with this fucking loser right here, like, I'm on my laptop, I'm, like, on Twitter. What would you do without us? You'd just be fucked. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a lot more followers on Tumblr. I just, okay. That's kind of what I do. You like that one guy from The Simpsons? <laughs> okay, <laughs> next question. Alright, um, someone else, uh, what were some of the bands that influenced our sound? Um, Trivium, Iron Maiden, um, Metallica, Avenged Sevenfold, Judas Priest, you know, Motorhead, just a lot of those bands. We got, yeah, we have the old school element in our sound, but then we kind of fuse it with some new metal, metalcore kind of stuff, like Escape the Fate. Uh, falling Reverse, oh, Bullet really from My Valentine, mm -hmm. I can hear some of that in our music. <clears throat> but we've got some breakdowns too, I mean, we, right. we like to pick out all the, our favorite elements from the whole metal spectrum and kind of fuse them into our own take. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of influenced by pretty much everything, like I listen to a lot of classical music, one of my favorite bands is Children of Bodom, I'm really influenced by them. Black Veil Brides, of course, Event Sevenfold, Marilyn Manson I like a lot, and yeah. I like some weird stuff that people probably would be surprised by, like I like a lot of like, Japanese pop music and like Visual K and that kind of stuff. A lot of my uh, influences uh, kind of like to come from a little bit of Nile, everybody loves Nile, um, Black Dahlia Murder, some uh, Motionless and Light, then Distillers. And, you know, I like to mix it up with some Dave Matthews band or some Bee Gees, you know, some nice 70s disco music here. Barry Manilow. Right? Well, that's how you started that list out with Nile. Oh, no, yeah, Nile. Nile. <laughs> yeah, like the Bee Gees. Yeah, that was the we first have a death metal drummer. Man. And then, uh, yeah, then I like to rap, you know, kind of end my day with some, uh, I'm not gonna lie, um, I do sometimes like to listen to Miley Cyrus in my spare time. That's the first time I've heard that. Yeah. Oh. She came in like a wrecking ball, man. Just I didn't see her coming. Hey, there's the door. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, uh, that about wraps it up. And some red hot chili peppers. Too negative, man. Yeah. yeah. Mark. Oh, my influences. Mm -hmm. I like love Megadeth and Children of Bodom. And Fuck yeah. And Metallica <laughs> and Machine Head. I I really love Machine Head. I thought I just they're really influential on me. I'm literally influenced by everything, you know, um, just anything from like smooth jazz to uh, uh, I don't know, just anything really. Uh, it's too it's too much to list. So hmm. 
I'm heavily influenced by performers like uh, Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper is definitely one of my biggest ones, too, like Rob Halford. I mean, like, not so much vocal style, but just stage presence and um, just uh, the value of performance that, that performers like them have expressed. Uh, vocally, I'm influenced a lot by, like, Bruce Dickinson. I really like Bruce Dickinson. Iron Maiden's great. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, like, I have a lot of, uh, concepts I like to draw from. Not so much, like, just people, but, uh, that's pretty much it for me. So, uh, oh, this one's good. <laughs> Next question is our favorite consumable item. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> we're all just yeah. giggling like little girls over here, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I don't know, can I start this one out? Yeah, go ahead. It really just, for me, it really depends what kind of day I'm having. I mean, if, if I'm really hungry, I'm really going to want a Chipotle burrito. But if I'm, like, just looking to party or something, obviously I'm going to pick, like, a bottle of Smirnoff over, <laughs> <laughs> over that burrito. But it always just kind of changes, you know? So I have to say, overall... I'm gonna have to go with a burrito. I don't know. Like, I, I can always go with one of those, because on some days, I'm just really not looking to party, like right now. Because I was a train wreck this weekend, so I, I'm just, I don't even want to think about any of that right now. I just want to eat something. So, if I had to say overall, I'd have to go with like my favorite food. I like pancakes. You know who likes pancakes and waffles? That's what Jeremy likes. Yeah, I like them both. You threw one out the window. Yes, I did. It's pretty interesting. Um, my favorite consumable item. Wow, what are all the consumable items? Like, <coughs> you could consume a marble or candle. Yeah, technically anything. Or couch stuff. Sawdust. Sawdust. I ate sawdust once. Oh. I don't know, I can't really pick one. I mean, I don't really like any of the things I mentioned. I hate consuming them. <laughs> I find I find them to be very useful though sometimes, but I would never eat like a phone. <laughs> you say that now. You say this way. I once this interview. The last over. show. Who got blood on the microphone? <laughs> Mark. I love to consume. Water man, dicks. dicks, so crazy, and dicks. Y- y- you guys have had dicks burgers. I don't know. It really just depends on my mood. Way to turn it around. <laughs> uh, it just depends on my mood. It, it's literally like the only thing I just don't like to consume are like pickles and, and coconut. Shit. Oh, and shit. Pickles and coconut. I don't like pickles, man. And coconut. I just can't. I, I don't. I can't do it. I hate carrots. I love Reese's peanut butter cups, though. That is. That that's. That's my fuck shit. Reese's peanut butter. Well, fuck that's, you. A, that's a whole different yeah. story. Okay. I'll die if I eat that. <laughs> Nate. Um, I don't know, man. My favorite consumable item would have to be uh, Chinese food. I love Chinese food. You see, I'm the only one with an answer. <laughs> <laughs> and my girlfriend's cooking. Oh, gummy bears. Haribo gummy bears. I love how you snuck that one in. Caribou? <laughs> 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 and you and your promise for <laughs> Alright, um. <laughs> Okay, number six. Uh, favorite bands. Oh boy. Um, watch is that? Watch is that? My favorite bands. My band. That's my really favorite, the only thing I listen to. My favorite to. band is Nickelback. You know? Um. <laughs> okay, my favorite bands. I listen to a lot of old stuff. Like I really like. I, but I mean, I don't listen exclusively to metal. I mean, like most of us can say that. But um, like favorite bands. I'm a really big fan of like Johnny Cash and um. <clears throat> uh, jazz musicians are like Miles Davis a lot. John Coltrane. I really like Frank Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa is one of my favorite artists ever. Um, metal bands, though. I'm a really big fan of Motorhead. Lemmy, hope you're doing okay. Lemmy's sick right now. He's gonna watch this video. Lemmy's totally gonna watch this he's, video. This is gonna be his favorite video. Yeah, I hope he does. He'll be um, okay as long as he has the Ace of Spades. Alice Cooper, <laughs> Judas Priest, just like the old classics. I'm really into those. I like some of the new bands, but I don't know. I just kind of keep finding myself drifting back to, to older bands, so that's me. My favorite brands are probably, like I've already said, Children of Bodom, 
Black Veil Brides, Avenged Sevenfold, Motionless and White. I like Matenro Opera a lot. They're a Vigil Cave band from Japan. Um, yeah, he, he kept digging up all this like really underground shit that was yeah. actually really cool. I like a lot of black metal too, like Watain, Mortifera, Celestia. And uh, I like this one Swedish singer, guitar player person named Yohio a lot. And like I've already said before, like I love Vivaldi, Bach, Beethoven, all those people. Tchaikovsky. That's how he pronounce it, the guy that wrote Swan Lake. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, when it comes to me, I kind of just go through phases of what kind of music I listen to, so I really don't think I could settle down to a handful of favorite bands. I can, I can say that as far as metal goes, the metal bands that I've been listening to, like, most consistently are probably, like, Children of Bodom. That's the band I started out listening to. And then, um, As I Lay Dying is another really big band that got me hooked on metal. And, uh, recently I've been listening to a lot of, uh, like, Escape the Fate and Falling in Reverse. That whole tour that got announced got me really excited. But that's just metal. I mean, uh, apart from that, I've been getting into some hip-hop and rap recently. Uh, this one artist that I'm really into right now is called The Weeknd. A lot of people are, like, paying attention to him right now, because, I don't know, he's got this really artistic, uh, edge to all his songs that I'm just really digging. And, uh, I think that's one of the main things that usually turns me off from rap and hip-hop, is, like, the shallow lyrics, but this guy's great. Like, he's really deep, and I can't really get enough of him right now. So I guess that's my answer. I kind of totally went off on <laughs> the weekend. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Uh, uh, there's like a long ass history for my, like, the bands that I love or like the music I love. I mean, specifically metal. Uh, I grew up uh, listening to a lot of hair metal and glam metal, like in my early days of metal, like Motley Crue, stuff like that, and Rat, and maybe some Dokken. Yeah. Yeah, uh, pretty cheesy. But, anyways. <laughs> Um, I also sort of like liked to listen to a lot of like uh, you know the anime intros for anime TV shows, yeah. <laughs> like Inuyasha yeah, or like yeah. Death Note and stuff like. I that. think we can all say we all love that shit. Dude, Cowboy Death Bebop Note opening. Though. Cowboy Bebop yeah. had like the best opening. Dun, in my dun, 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 That's an awesome opening. I don't know, and uh, I grew up with a lot of jazz in my life too. Cause my mom is a huge jazz fan. I mean, like her favorite was Tony Bennett growing up, so I listened to a lot of him, and. Uh, I mean, I grew up with a lot of rap music, like uh, a lot of uh, Ice Cube, you know, like in the early days, you know, with uh, NWA and stuff like that. I, I did. Niggas with attitude, growing up in Issaquah. <laughs> Dude, uh, and the West Side Connection, that, yeah. yeah good to I say, it's a good day. And Tech 9 is also one of my favorite rap artists, but, so. Yeah, he's cool, man. Everyone forgot about that guy. Dude. He's the shit. He's, he's still the shit, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, uh... Uh, I, I just like, I like a lot of guitar players too, like uh, Andy McKee, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, um, you know, Marty Freeman, and Jason Becker. Sorry about your, you know, Luke Issues, you. your ALS. That, that really sucks. That's tragic. Yeah. That sucks, man. That's like my worst nightmare. That is my Like, after headbanging for a long time, like, am I gonna get brain damage? Oh, I don't wanna turn into Jason Becker. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I would want to be Jason Becker. Like, I'd want his guitar playing skill. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to have his Lou Gehrig disease, but... I think he's still I think he's better than a lot of modern-day guitarists. Yeah. Still. Mm -hmm. but definitely mm -hmm. an innovator of mm -hmm. the time. Damn, we gotta move this thing along. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, um... <clears throat> favorite bands, easily Animals and Leaders at the top. Um, uh, definitely Alkaline Trio. Um, the Mars Volta, big influence for me. Um, obviously Bee Gees as well. I, I, I just love Bee Gees. I can't deny that. Then uh, there's, um, of course, Stone Temple Pilots. I love those guys. They're amazing. With or without Chester? Without Chester. Without back, with Chester. back in the first album, Core, with Steve Whelan. Or Scott Whelan. Uh, yeah. Pretty much does it. And, uh... <laughs> right. Michael Drake. Nice question. <laughs> Alright, this one's gonna be pretty quick. Okay, ready? 
Do we support gay marriage? Yes. 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 You can stick your dick in whoever you want. I don't care. As long as it's not me. You or you could take you your want, vagina and put it against. You can yeah. Do what, you can do whatever you want. As long as it's vagina. not like a small animal or a small child, but and like not someone who's like tied up and like who totally doesn't want it to happen. Like I believe in like the whole consent thing. You know. <laughs> I believe in <laughs> consent. <laughs> yeah. It, I'm old fashioned and I believe in consent. <laughs> no, I mean like if they're old enough to know what they're doing, and they're totally <laughs> down enough. with it. Like, you can do whatever kind of kinky shit you want. She's like old enough, like, oh, she's 12 and she knows what she's doing. No, no, okay. okay. Next question. She's the legal true. age of consent. Yeah, there we go. But he's got my back. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Next question. Yeah, he's got your back. Okay. Uh, question. Okay. How many pants do we own? How many oh, pairs of pants? pants? I have these pants. I have the blue pants. Sometimes he wears his pants. Two pants <laughs> in his underwear. He wears my underwear. I can't fit. Actually, I can fit into Mark's pants, but like I would you need like a super pants so that I gave you. No, no. I have about seven pairs of pants. Are you wearing pants? No, four no these are pants. Wait, do you see wait, and then I have like three pairs of like legging type things and one pair of spandex pants. We actually all collectively share pants. <laughs> there is a band of pants. There's one pair of pants that we all must wear. <laughs> and that's my wrestling scene from high school. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know. Pants. Five pairs of pants are on. <laughs> uh, <I'm> counting <laughs> spandex, that's like eight. You have spandex? Yeah, dude. Dude, why don't you wear your spandex with me? Because, man. We can go out to the club and be yeah, spandex but, buddies. Dude, he's gonna look so, we... so big compared to you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>